Welcome to the Dynon Skyview HDX Academy. In this video, we will be introducing you to the Skyview HDX display layout. Starting off, every Skyview HDX is capable of displaying up to three highly configurable pages. What you are seeing on this 10 inch HDX screen right now is a representation of those pages and how a typical user might configure the system. The most predominant page is known as the primary flight display often referred to as PFD. Next, we have the Engine Monitoring System, or EMS page, shown here in the bottom band configuration. The final page is the Moving Map page, or simply Map page. In addition to the three main function pages, there is a Top Bar, or Status Bar which contains status information of the autopilot, transponder, clock or timer, and comm. All features in this bar have a soft key or touchable function. If configured to be displayed, the map information column displays various flight information derived from Skyview's VFR GPS navigator. This includes information such as estimated time of arrival, distance to waypoint, and GPS altitude, which are just a few items among the selectable information options. Moving to the bottom of the display, we have the main menu. The main menu shows you the current assignment to the button or knob functions. This main menu is unique in that it is dynamic, meaning it will change as selections are made. Now let's jump back to the PFD page and dig a little deeper into it. Again, I want to emphasize that many of the features you see here on the screen are configurable, and we will show you this in more detail in another lesson. But for now, let's just talk about what you are seeing here on this PFD page. The most apparent feature on the PFD is synthetic vision, commonly referred to as SynVis. Synthetic vision is a computer-generated image terrain and obstacles, providing pilots with a high-resolution aid to visual navigation. Terrain or obstacles, which may become a flight hazard, such as mountaintops, will be displayed in yellow or red, depending on their hazard level. Within the PFD page are several information features, which include the airspeed indicator. This includes the digital airspeed bug, airspeed bug, Digital Airspeed, Airspeed Trend Indicator, Digital True Airspeed, and Ground Speed Information. Just next to the Airspeed Indicator, we have the Angle of Attack Indicator, or AOA. On the very top of the page, we have the Slip Skid Indicator. Below that, we have the Attitude Indicator which includes the flight path marker, waterline symbol, flight director, roll scale, zero pointer, two minute turn rate indicators, 45 degree pointer, and pitch indicator. To the right of the attitude indicator is the altitude indicator, which includes the digital altimeter, digital altimeter bug, altitude bug, altitude trend indicator, barometric setting, density altitude, and next to that is the outside air temperature. Just next to the altitude indicator, we have the vertical speed indicator. This includes the digital vertical speed bug, vertical speed bug, digital vertical speed. In the lower left corner, we have the winds vector indicator which includes the winds aloft direction arrow, winds aloft information, and crosswind component arrow. Located in the lower center of the screen is the horizontal situation indicator, or HSI, which includes the magnetic heading indicator, heading bug, turn rate indicator, heading indicator, and course indicator. In the lower right hand corner, we have the HSI information items, which includes the GPS and nav source information, 
and bearing pointer information. Now let's take a look at the Engine Monitoring System page, or EMS. A quick note that the Engine Monitoring does require the EMS module in order for these features to be active. This page has some of the most user configurable characteristics of the HDX system. Let's take a high level look at the multiple ways this information page can be displayed and just some of the information it can display. Here we are showing the EMS page in the bottom band configuration. To be clear here that this page can be configured in many different ways. What we are showing here is fuel levels, manifold pressure, engine RPM, fuel flow, fuel pressure, oil temperature, oil pressure, combination of cylinder and exhaust temperature, battery volts, system amps, pitch trim, flat position, Hobbs time, pack time, and gallons remaining. This is the EMS page in a 50% configuration. As with any of the EMS pages, the information displayed is completely configurable. And what we are seeing here is just an example of what a typical layout would look like. This page, once again, includes things like individual EGT and CHT readings, oil temperature, oil pressure, fuel pressure, and everything previously listed on the bottom band configuration. Because we now have more screen space, we have created an area within the page to display such information as runtime, airtime, gallons used, gallons remaining, and range. Finally, we show here the EMS page in full screen configuration. All of the same information available for engine monitoring is available to be displayed here. A full screen configuration would typically be used when one screen is dedicated to engine management specifically. The map page is probably the most complex of the pages and contains a deep feature set. For this introductory lesson, let's look at some of the basic features of this page. As with the PFD and EMS page, the map page can be configured to full screen as shown here. All the features that are available on the full screen are also available on the 50% split screen. Here we see the aircraft icon, typically located in the center bottom of the screen. Airports, terrain proximity, obstacles, airspace, current ground track readout, heading arc, heading bug, distance circle with range, course line, Active flight plan, ground track line, airspace proximity block, and north marker. Again, I want to point out that the features and page layouts may vary on your system. We highly recommend you download the HDX Pilot's User Guide from our website and review it completely before operating the system. Items presented here are general in nature and may not apply to your aircraft or avionics system as installed. If you require further assistance, Dynon Sales Support is available by email at sales at dynon.com and customer support is available at support at dynon.com. At Dynon, our mission is to create the best avionics and aircraft systems for light aircraft. With a worldwide fleet of over 25,000 aircraft, Dynon is a leading manufacturer of avionics for experimental and light sport aircraft. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to the Dynon channel so that you will know when new content is released.